Pitt, an expert assassin who has lurked in the shadows of Universe 6 for over a thousand years. Goku Black, a former Kaioshin apprentice with the sole goal of exterminating all mortals in the universe in an attempt to purify it. What would happen if these two warriors from another universe came into conflict with one another? I will mainly be using Hit from Universe 6's vs. 7 tournament, rather than him in the Tournament of Power, for reasons you will find out later. But without further ado, let's get into the video and explain to you why Hit vs. Goku Black is closer than you might think. While Hit is an incredibly powerful warrior in his own right, he is not known for his immense strength, but rather his incredible abilities. The first of which is his most well-known ability, Time Skipping, which allows him to skip forward a certain amount of time into the future and allows him to pummel his opponents for a set amount of time. While his time skip technique does not actually stop time, it basically serves the same function as his opponents appear frozen to him. This ability is very useful against those stronger than him and allows him to basically land free hits on his opponents much much stronger than him such as Jiren and Vegeta. Now while this ability can be countered by predicting what moves he is going to make, this is easier said than done as even Goku was still getting hit by his time skip, and to take into account that Goku had prior knowledge of his ability, which was why he was getting completely bodied like Vegeta. Hit also has the ability to fire invisible energy blasts, which is one of his most common abilities that he utilizes to eliminate his targets, and for good reason, as it can completely bypass one's durability and kill them in one hit, as shown with Goku. This ability is often used in conjunction with some of his other abilities to help land a sneak attack on his opponents. This is shown with his second battle with Goku, where he tries to confuse Goku by both hiding his energy and making copies of it to give himself an opening to land a killing blow. Hit also has the ability to leap into an alternate dimension, which he uses to evade opponent's attacks and land some of his own. When he leaps into said dimension, he leaves behind a phantom of some sort that cannot be damaged, which can further confuse his opponents. This phantom also has the ability to strike his opponents as well. Another interesting ability Hit has is his capability to adapt to his opponents and increase in strength, as shown in the Battle of Goku, where he goes from being relative of Blue Goku to damaging Kaioken times 10 Goku, or against Jiren where he adapts to his moves over time. This is especially useful to gain an edge over those stronger than him, which it may not even be needed considering he attacks his opponent's vital points, which help further bypass one's durability. As I stated earlier, while Hit is more known for his abilities, he does have some impressive strength. Even initially, he is shown fighting on par with Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and is eventually able to damage him when he is using Kaioken x 10, which is absolutely nothing to scoff at. So overall, Hit is an incredibly well-rounded fighter, who has numerous techniques to help give him an edge during this fight. Goku Black is basically the opposite of what Hit is, prioritizing power over technique, and it's safe to say that he does not at all slack when it comes to strength. Even when he first achieved Super Saiyan Rose, he was more than a match for the Blue Saiyans, even calling Vegeta, who was most likely even stronger than he was in the Universe 6 tournament, nothing more than an appetizer, and then proceeds to beat the shit out of him. He then fights Goku, and while it may seem they are evenly matched, as Vegeta points out, that is simply not true. This should at least put Goku Black above the hit when he was first fighting Blue Goku, as while he was stated on par with him, he was shown to be a little bit weaker than him when Goku started speeding him up. Another thing about Goku Black is that he has remarkable adaptation abilities like Hit does which allows him to power cliff opponents he was previously equal to or weaker than, and this is shown quite a bit throughout the series. In the infamous moment where Goku gets pissed off when he learns that Goku Black unalived his wife and child, he starts beating up Goku Black pretty badly, but due to Black's adaptation abilities, he turns the tables several times over and utterly humiliates Goku. A similar situation happened with Vegeta as well, 
as after Vegeta starts whooping Goku Black, he responds with an increase of strength of his own stemmed from his anger. This newfound strength allowed him to tear a hole in the fabric of space, and then this hole then proceeds to spit out dozens of clones of himself that can damage Goku and Vegeta, and can regenerate from only mist. This ability seems to be quite similar to Cell's multiform technique, in where he can make clones of himself that are exactly as strong as the original, with Goku Black being able to produce clones on a much higher scale. This Goku Black is so insanely powerful, the producers of Dragon Ball Super verbatim said that Goku Black is the strongest fighter in Dragon Ball Super, aside from gods like Beerus and Whis. This is all stated again in another guidebook which you are seeing on screen right now. So in terms of just raw physical strength and speed, he completely outclasses Hit, but considering the fact that Goku Black with his scythe is what is considered the strongest, the power gap between himself and Hit post adapting to Kaioken Goku might not be all that much. Honestly, considering all the different abilities Hit has, this matchup does not really have a clear cut answer and could honestly go either way, but if I had to choose a victor, I would say Hit would win more times than not due to his many different abilities allowing him to do damage despite the power gap. Even his normal fighting style hits vital points, which do ignore durability to a certain extent, and his invisible energy blast can straight up one-shot his opponents if it hits their heart. One may ask how Hit would even get a chance to land those moves considering Goku Black is much faster than him, but his time-skipping ability should more than make up for the speed disadvantage, and it's not entirely out of the question that Hit's own adaptation ability may allow him to catch up to Goku Black anyway. One may bring up how Goku is able to counter such abilities by predicting Hit's moves, but Goku was only able to counter him due to having prior knowledge on how Hit moves and his time-skipping ability in general, which Goku Black does not have. Of course, there are also win conditions for Goku Black as well, if the fight isn't drawn out, it's entirely possible Goku Black could just slice and dice him in an instant, or power clip him to an insane degree and neg him if the fight does happen to be dragged out. But like I said, Hit probably wins more times than not. Now, you may have noticed that I didn't bring up Hit's strength from this rematch with Goku, or in the Tournament of Power, and that's simply because that hit pretty much objectively bodies Goku Black. Hit in his rematch with Goku was able to damage him, with this Goku most likely being stronger than the one from the Goku Black arc, who overwhelmed Murd Zamasu in a beam struggle, and was capable of fighting him with just his legs afterwards. And obviously, Murd Zamasu would shit on Goku Black. Goku also thought he might be able to defeat Infinite Zamasu if he had a Sensu Bean, which itself is very debated upon considering Infinite Zamasu is an entity that literally expands across multiple timelines, but I think it's fair to say Goku thought it wasn't entirely outlandish that he could take on someone as strong as Corrupted Murd Zamasu. So unless the fight gets super dragged out, I highly doubt Goku Black could win. The Tournament of Power just makes things way, way, way worse for Black, considering Hit was doing better against Jiren than even Kaioken times 20 blue Goku, as he was able to block and take Jiren's attacks several times with these same attacks blitzing Goku. His performance against Jiren is even noted by Topo when he states how Hit is performing surprisingly well. So yeah, Hit in the Tournament of Power bodies Goku Black. I really don't see any way he could legitimately win against him. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I worked hard on it, and if you did, maybe go hit that little big red subscribe button down there. It would mean a lot to me. If you ever want to see polls or updates on what the next video will be, make sure to check my community tab as I try to update it whenever I have new content in the kitchen. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Later!